In 2015, we saw one of the biggest NRL contracts in history when Daly Cherry Evans famously signed a four-year, $4 million deal with the Gold Coast Titans for the 2016 season onwards before backflipping to stay at the Manly Seagulls on a contract he continues to be on and it's the biggest contract in the NRL history. He signed an eight-year, $10 million deal with the Manly Seagulls. However, 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 has gone on as the salary cap has gone up. DCE's salary has indeed been tied to the salary cap, meaning he has now earned over $10 million and still has done his contract. Make people wonder what would have happened if DC had stayed at the Gold Coast Titans. The Titans, with that money, went on to sign Ash Taylor, who unfortunately for him turned out to be one of the worst and overhyped halfbacks of the NRL era. Why DCE has struggled for form at Manly outside of 2017, 2019, and 2021. Manly have had not much success in the time he has been on his massive contract. However, individually he has been successful. He has gone on to be part of many Queensland Origin Series wins. However, he wasn't a hiatus there, which affected him before now. He's the captain and was the integral part, being the second best player in their 2020 Origin Series win behind Cameron Munster. He was also the best player for Manly in 2020 in a struggling season. And despite Tom Trevojevic now being the main man at Melly, continues to produce and continues to put his name in the conversation for the game's best halfback. But how much different would DC's career have been if he went to the Gold Coast Titans in 2016? How different would the Manly Seagulls situation be? And could the Gold Coast Titans have gone on to push for their first ever premiership? Well, thanks to absolutely reliable technology in the form of video games, we have gone not into Rugby League Life 4, but into Rugby League Life 3 to see the Gold Coast Titans franchise ends up at the end of the 2021 season, as well as the Manly Seagulls and how much DC's career has changed. This is what if DC had joined the Gold Coast Titans. Guys, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is the home for footy content in 2022. And get involved in that comment section down below. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Rugby League Live 3, and it's time to go in to the career mode, because this is what we're going to be using to really experiment what would happen if DC went to the Titans. This will be influenced a little bit. Yes, it's a video game, so it's not entirely realistic. But to add to that, we are going to be controlling the Gold Coast Titans. So we're also going to be doing a little rebuild as well. Because we can't really just sign DC and then not help them out a little bit. So, we're going to simulate until the end of the 2021 season. We're going to see how DC's career will change. And we're going to see how we can make the Gold Coast Titans and turn them into a powerhouse. So, immediately going to simulate until the recruitment is open, which is the 4th of June. And let's see if we can sign DC. All right, so we currently sit 7th place, Manly sit in ninth. so hopefully it's not going to take too much for DC to come here. Recruiting is open. Let's get straight into it, and there he is, DC, 26 years old, 91 overall. I couldn't find how much he was signed for in real life, however, I'm going to assume it was a bit more than 450k or whatever it says, so we'll bump it up a little bit. I'm going to go around 750 just to make it somewhat realistic. Three years, and there we go. DC will be coming to the Titans. And now to keep the realistic uh, realistic theme going, Nate Miles, while I wouldn't normally want to re-sign him, we're going to. Because he came to Manly because of DC, so I feel like it makes sense we keep him. We'll give him two years for 200k, and we re-sign Nate Miles. We're also going to re-sign... James Roberts, I feel like that's a good signing as well. Give him three. Yes, we do have a lot of centers, but what can you do? No point signing Kane LG anymore. Instead, we will get rid of Christian Hazard as well, and we will sign another halfback. Wingers, we have this young winger. We could probably let him go. And honestly, what positions do we need? We could use a second rower, and maybe just a lock that could replace Bird for when he retires. However, looking at who's available, we're going to keep with a realistic thing. We're going to sign Jay Arrow, bring him over 
from the Brisbane Broncos on a three-year deal. He could be our long-term replacement for Greg Bird. And there we go. We snagged Jai Arrow. And I did just say we need a big gun second rower and looking at who the options are. Lewis Brown is actually very highly rated in this game. However, I'm not going to sign him instead. I'm going to sign to Ethan Lowe. I'm going to bring him over from the Cowboys to Manly. He's still pretty young. And honestly, we're probably going to need another second rower in a couple seasons. Preferably, preferably even next season. So we'll sign him for now. And to replace using Kane Elgy and that Christian Hazard kid, I'm going to be signing this Aaron Clark, the 17 year old, 68 rated halfback. He's going to be our long term backup for DCE. And we're also going to sign a long term 5'8 because currently we have one Matt Beto, Matt Beto, and looking at who's available, look, there isn't too many options. But I reckon we're going to re-sign a young man here. Ends up going to the Cowboys. But we're going to bring him to the Titans. That's a young Tamari Martin. Looks nothing like him in game. But we're going to sign him up. And we're going to give him two years as well. So now, simulating to the end of our first season. Without DCEs, we don't really care too much. We finish in 13th. The Dally M Award goes to Peter Matadia. And then the Warriors dominate. And while we're releasing a bunch of players, Melbourne Storm win the 2015 Premiership. And now it's time to move on into Season 2, where we finally have the man, the myth, the legend. He's our highest rated player, Daily Cherry Evans. Alright, so I've decided to simulate to the recruitment stage for 2016. Daily Cherry Evans has gone up to a 93 rating. He's still more than 8 in season. I'd love to see him play a 5 8 but you know, this game doesn't recognize secondary positions. We currently sit in 7th place, so Manly and us are in the exact same position as we were last year. However, let's make a few more signings. We'll see who's off contract. Alright, so we're actually going to be missing a few guys this year. I'll, go, I'll let you know what signings I make. Jamal Fogarty is a fullback. How interesting. Since we are losing our top two dummy halves and looking at this list, I'm going to go in and sign Appy Corazel. He went to Manly in real life at this stage of his career. So let's snag him. We'll bump it up a little bit, make it a bit more realistic because it seems like we have infinite cap room and these player salaries aren't too large. And we'll snag him for 280k for three years. We're going to get an upgrade on Appy Corazel. We might even upgrade a few positions as well. We are also going to quickly re-sign Anthony Don. Because, well, he became the cult figure. He's the number one player I think of when we think about the Gold Coast Titans. I'm going to snag him up for three years long term as well. And to partner him on the wing, I'm going to come and I'm going to grab Clinton Gutherson. Just before he went to Parramatta, and you see he's coming to us. And while I love to convert him to a fullback so he can be our long term fullback, he's going to be spending the rest of his years with us, at least for the next two. On that little wing, he's going to partner Anthony Don, and we're going to let go of David Mead. We're also going to replace Dave Taylor and bring in Josh Papali'i, the young boy. He's coming back to Queensland, and we're going to pick him up on a three-year deal. To partner Ethan Lowe, that's a very good young back row going forward. We're also going to grab a backup hooker as well. We're going to take the best one, young John Neal, 71 rated at the young age of 18. And we'll snag him up, and we'll snag him up at long term. Well, 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 looking into our final game of the season, it looks like we're not going to improve too much on last year. In fact, after going 13th, we're going to drop down to 14th position. The Dally M Awards, well, looks like Alex Johnson's going to take out the Dally M. Wow. Can't believe how broken these games are. Well, after all these years, Cowboys, they didn't win 2015, they're going to win 2016 instead. And while we release a few more players, we're going to finish this year and head straight into Season 3. We'll count it as Season 2 from now on, because, well, we're monitoring DC's career, and this is his second season with us. But that is a very much improved team heading into Season 2. All right, recruitment in at 2017, we sit in 10th, but Manly, they're in the bottom four. However, we're still not near the top eight. We're losing a lot of players due to origin and due to suspension, it looks like. But it's time to make even more changes to this team. 
And honestly, I'm willing to let every one of these players go except for Ryan James. You know how much of a leader he was at the Titans in real life. And we ain't going to dog him. We're going to snag him long term. But we are going to need of a young prop. And I can't find a better option than the man who is suggested to us. The 24-year-old beast from Queensland. Let's bring him home. Dylan Napa. But now, going into the final game of the season, up against our arch nemesis, the Brisbane Broncos. We're going to get the dub, and that's going to put us into finals contention. As for Manly, well, they finished in the bottom four. So maybe the DC factor in 2017 is finally kicking into gear. We finished where Manly finished in real life. Matthew Duffy, not Dufty, he's going to win the Dally M while Melbourne dominate the team of the year. However, unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to pick up our first finals win, but the Melbourne Storm go back to back and win the 2017 competition just like they did in real life. Simulating to the recruitment stage of 2018, and unfortunately, we've only won two games all year and sit dead last. DCE is improved. I don't know why our players are dropping off. I don't know when Aiden Caesar's contract runs out. Appy's injured. Why do we have players I've gotten rid of? Is there a secret Rugby League Live 3 glitch? Well, there must be. Anyway, recruiting is open. DC is off contract. And now his salary is starting to pick up. We'll snag him for 875 for three years. He's happy. Aiden Caesar, I'm happy to get rid of him. Also happy to move on from Zulman, Bo, Kane LG will move on from David Mean. I thought I'd let all these guys go. Obviously not. But we have a lot of players off contract. It's time to start re-signing some of these boys. Starting with James Roberts. Their salaries are getting up there though. Their salaries are definitely getting up there. We'll see Gutherson too. We'll keep him. Gotta keep Jai Arrow. We still have about the better part of 2 million in the cap, so I'm not too stressed. And honestly, I'm happy to just rebuild this whole roster if we're still in last place. So, let's just go through and look at positions we need, but we need a fullback. That's the one we do need. And who better than... Screw it. We'll bring Dane Gagai. We'll bring him to the Titans. We've been bringing a lot of Queensland players home. He's one we could use perfectly, and let's snag him up long term. And unfortunately for us, Tamaro Martin has not helped out. He has not improved too much. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to sign Corey Norman, and I'm going to only give him the one year, just to see if he could pick up the pace and help us get some dubs. This year's almost a write-off pretty much, as we're now doing just a little rebuild. We need some depth in the, depth in the forwards. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to sign a bunch of young guns. Starting off, we will sign... Could probably need, need to bump up the days just a little bit. But we don't want to go too old. And we'll get this Mitch guy. He looks like a good candidate. He only wants a little bit of money. Happy to give him a contract long term. But yeah, let's try and sign some of these guys. Joff and Gowie, we'll get him too. And I think that's it for props. We don't need any dummy halves. We've got a ton of them. And we will sign Bryce Cartwright, actually. He came to Titans in real life. Let's grab him. We'll grab him and we'll give him three years and that'll be our signings. Let's hope, let's see if we can make a late season push. But 2018 looks like a lost cause for the Gold Coast Titans already. And I was right. We missed the finals yet again. We finished in 11th position. Do I have to release anyone? We'll release them. Those bastards. Korobiti wins the Dally M, and the Roosters win the 2018 comp, so, wow, not much has changed, to be perfectly honest. Not much has changed at all. Alright, so recruiting is open for 2019, and we currently sit in first place, just the one loss. This is going to be a massive turnaround. Could we push for a competition? And it looks like Corey Norman has been the man. So, of course, we're going to re-sign him. He's our number one priority, being such an important player. We have 1.5 in the cap. Let's see if we can try and keep the guys we've snagged. So, we'll keep Appy. I want him. We'll give him three years. Hopefully, entice him a little bit. Honestly, I'm happy to let all these guys go, except those top two. If we can sign both of them, that would be 
tremendous. And we are. How much do we have left? We've about 400 left. What do we need? We don't need a dummy half. We don't need a 5 eighth. We don't need a center. Maybe a better back rower? No, we've got 290 rates. What about a lock? Nah, no, Jair is alright. And he's our future. We don't need a half, but we don't need a 5 eighth. Do we need a winger? No, because we still got David Mead for some reason. Anyway, maybe we screw it. Maybe we don't even need him to play another season. We've just re-signed a bunch of guys, and considering how well we're going, let's just let a few of our guys develop. We have 29 players on the roster for next season. Let's just, you know what? Screw it. Let's go out there, and let's get a massive signing. Who can we get? Let's just go top positions. Mitchell Pierce is there. Nathan Peets is there. Hodgson's there. Milford, Greg Inglis, Alex John. Actually, there's no one really here. I'm happy just to keep the squad we've got. Let's just do that. And we are going to wrap up first spot. What a turnaround. We're going to be playing the South Sydney Rabbitohs. TCE came second in the Dally M. And he's also our captain because he won captain of the year. We're going to pick up a win. This is a prelim final. Going up against the reigning premiers. We're going to be in to a grand final. We're going to be missing Bryce Curry. Going up against the Rabbitohs. And we're going to win the competition. David Mead picks up the Clive Churchill. DCE, mate. You're only a one-time premiership winner at Manly. You're a two-time premiership winner at the Titans. You win the first comp in Titans history. So unrealistic. So unrealistic. Sorry, Titans fans. Anyway... So I'm just to the fourth. We've got two seasons left. Can we go back to back? And with David Mead moving on after I've re-signed everyone, we have a bit of cash to throw around and not nearly to sign anyone of note. So screw it. Let's just keep going. Let's see if we can go back to back with the same roster. However, we're in 13th. This team is so, so inconsistent. However, we're going to crawl back into the finals. We finish in sixth, going up against... Matt Morgan's at Manly. So he's the DC replacement. Anyway, like I said, we're going up against the Dragons. We're going to win. DC picks up Man of the Match. Going into our next semi. There we go. Premiership race is over. Canberra Raiders win the 2020 comp. Let's just get straight into our final season. No need to even go and bother with recruitment. Let's just go straight to the end, shall we? So, going up against the Cowboys, we're going to find ourselves in second spot. Going up against the Roosters... Can DC be a three-time premiership winner in this different universe? We win week one. Can we win the prelim against the Rabbitohs? Yes, we can. Grand final up against the defending premiers, the Canberra Raiders. And we're going to do it. Khalifa, not even going to say that last name, picks up the Clive Churchill medal. And we've won two competitions. We win the 2021 premiership and the 2019 premiership. DC is a three-time premiership winner. And that will be the end of our little experiment. The Gold Coast Titans find themselves winning two comps in 2019 and 2021. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know if you want to see more types of these videos in the future. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're a footy fan and you haven't subscribed to this channel in 2022. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, be better. Play smart footy and sub to the channel. Comment. Get involved in that comment section down below because that's what it's there for. And I'll see you guys in the next one.